When you look through most wanted characters in Smash Brothers lists, normally we generally get the same idea and a lot of the same choices today. I want to take a look at some characters that deserve to be looked at that nobody is really considering and nobody is really talking about now. Are these my favorite, my top choices for people that I want in Smash? No, not necessarily. But these are characters that deserve to be looked at at least a little bit and considered by Nintendo. So let's look at those characters today. These first characters come from a game that if you collect video games in the video collecting world, you know this video game, Little Samson. Little Samson is a fantastic game on the NES where you can switch between characters on the go at any moment once you acquire each character. There are a total of four different characters that you can get during the game. And those characters are Little Samson, Kakira the Dragon, Gam the Golem, and K.O. the Mouse. Each one of these characters has their own unique set of special abilities. I would love to see these little dudes make an appearance in Smash Bros on the Switch and not as different skins for each other. But instead where you can switch between using the characters with a press of one or two buttons quick like that, just like the NES game. Little Samson may be a rare or expensive video game, but it is a fantastic game with four characters that deserve to be in a Smash Brothers game. In 1992, Natsume brought us a duo of cute, cute characters known as Pocky and Rocky. Pocky and Rocky is a top-down scrolling shooter that brings the charm that makes most retro fans jump with glee. In the game, you work side by side with your pal to defeat the Nopino Goblins. Sure, Pocky and Rocky are both cute beyond compare, but they are tough as nails. These two work together to do some amazing throws, heavy combos, and ripping power moves that will make you question how OP these characters could be in Smash. If these characters did make it into the game, I could see them wrecking havoc with their fast-paced throwing abilities and also their commitment to working side by side in the game. <laughs> If you grew up any time around the Nintendo 64 era, you know what character made you feel bad to the bone? Turok the Dinosaur Hunter. I am Turok. Turok is a game I recently talked about in a video about video games I would like to see made into a movie. But the more I thought about this bad tall set or Turok, the more I realized his arsenal of weapons is like having all the smash items at your disposal. Just to name a few of his weapons, we have the Chrono Scepter, the Tech Bow, the Fusion Cannon, Particle Accelerator, Alien Weapon, Pulse Rifle, Assault Rifle, Grenade Launcher, Quad Rocket Launcher, Mini Gun, his Knife, a Pistol, and a Shotgun. Yeah, those weapons. The ones he uses to defeat aliens and dinosaurs. Turok has had a pretty good run on Nintendo consoles and in the gaming world in general. And it wouldn't hurt Nintendo to take a closer look at him and see what the possibilities could be. And my last choice for this list today, I was a little skeptical to put these characters on this list because I've seen a little bit of people talk about them recently, and that's the Rabbids, specifically the ones from Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. <laughs> All right, well, the Mario Rabbids well, they're pretty dumb. And even though they may be less than intelligent, they know how to get the job done. This crew knows exactly how to plan an attack and execute it with precision and flair to go with it. The weapons list for putting them in Smash would be an easy transfer and would take almost no thought because the arsenal for these cute little weird dudes and dudettes are already laid out in the game. And yes, I'm aware you 
Ubisoft would have to play a big part in this as well, but I'm pretty sure from what we've seen that Ubisoft would be okay and loves Nintendo enough to again let them go in another Nintendo game. All in all, I want their wackiness combined with their precision in Smash Bros on the Switch, plain and simply because it would be a great time seeing them in the game, and that's what I enjoy in video games. Fun. All right, it is your turn. Let me know what characters you want to see in Smash that are underdogs and that not a lot of people are talking about. I don't wanna hear the regular choices that everybody says, we know about those. Let's hear your crazy odd choices down in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for subscribing. We're here like three to four days a week. We live stream like two days a week. Join us, have fun with us, and also like the video. We appreciate it. I know I personally appreciate it. All right, you guys, we'll talk to you guys again soon. Have a good one. Peace. Wait.